Hey everybody, hope you're doing okay. Uh, Doug here. Um, this voice is a little scratchy today because I have a cold, so that's no fun, but hope you guys are having a good weekend. Looking today at how the internet changes, how uh, television programming is sourced, how it comes about. Um, looking at a couple of different ways, as we heard today, uh, with the central mass media, not quite the same model these days. Previously, in order to get programming on air, you have to like sell it to a network, you have to sell it to a TV station, you actually have to contact them and say, give you their proposal, the, the whole thing, the whole Lollapalooza. Uh, a lot different now because you can just go to YouTube um, and have that uh, on other sites uh, such as Tumblr, that sort of thing, and post it there. And sometimes if you post it and they get enough views, then you can turn that into a program because you'll get picked up uh, by networks, by stations, by things like that. So looking at, or you become mon able to monetize it, it becomes your own channel. So for instance, this here is a is a video from uh, uh, Syria from Journeyman TV, one of the better, uh, more reputable uh, news outlets, uh, doing a bunch of different films. And this one, this particular film, reports from Syria. Uh, the organization itself also has its profile on here, tells you all about what's going on. It's all pretty interesting. But this is on YouTube, so obviously if you want to um, create your business, you want to get your word out there, if you want traditional outlets to take you seriously, they can simply go to YouTube and take a look. Another way of looking at it is uh, this sort of concept, is like, say the uh, Liam Kyle Sullivan uh, outfit, and uh, they've done you know, 57 view, million views for some of their stuff, 20 to 1 million for others of their stuff. You know, it becomes really their own monetized uh, YouTube channel uh, where they become their own network. And that is really a big difference from having to contact uh, uh, one of the networks and, and figure out uh, how you're going to get on and it takes away the layer of, uh, of the intermediary in a way which has not been done for this sort of thing for television for a long time. And obviously then this gets be retweeted uh, and or reposted on things like Tumblr and all that sort of stuff. And, uh, and you know, you can see here Tumblr is like they've got all sorts of stuff for these guys. Um, just people saying, hey, this is pretty cool. And so it just it's not just what they post, but it's what they post gets reposted, which is, you know, many of the same uh, concepts around how social media is really supposed to work. At the same time, it also makes it easier if you do decide to go in, uh, and visit uh, and contact traditional outlets. You can put the stuff on and all they have to do is like go to your website. For instance, this is my stuff on YouTube. Um, I have about 30 videos on here and because I sometimes sell stuff to, uh, to networks or to news outlets and, um, and they can sort of just go here and you can say, hey, this is what I can do, and they look, and they just click, and it's fine, and it's, you know, it's it's really a piece of cake. So, um, that kind of thing. So that uh, that uh, really makes it a lot easier if you are uh, contacting those guys, too. And then another way that this whole thing flips, uh, flips on its head is, we all know about, like, Ship My Dad Says, that's an awesome uh, Twitter feed, and gets turned into its own show because it's just awesome. So, um, with William Shatner. So, that's taken social media and really um, used it, again, as a, as a sort of source for traditional media. So, there's this whole interaction uh, between the people, between the specific nodes of, uh, of dissemination, which would be the networks and, uh, and TV stations, and, and it really has upended how people develop programming, which is all pretty interesting. So that's the, uh, that's the idea for today, and we'll see how it goes.